Hello and welcome to Warrior Sports Talk. I'm Curran Coakley. And I'm Will Berglund. It's playoff time for winter sports, so good luck to all of our athletes. We want to wish a special congratulations to Nora Herbstuber, who received a state championship in swimming. Tyler Zielinski, who won states for Giant Slalom, and Naya Anagari for winning TVL MVP for women's basketball. Awesome job to those guys. Congratulations also goes out to Ella Kane, a former Warrior Sports Talk guest, Julian Ram Tyler Best, on reaching nationals in track and field. Thank you to everyone who tunes in to Warrior Sports Talk. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Today with us, we are so lucky to have the captains of the Medfield Warriors girls hockey team joining us on the show. Catherine Bannister and Lily Bly, welcome and thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. Thank you guys for having us. Of course, glad to have you guys. All right, so I want to start this off by talking about you and Captain Caitlin Nicotera as leaders. You have a very young team with lots of underclassmen, so what has connecting with them been like and how have you found ways to lead such a diverse group age-wise? Yeah, so this year is actually a little bit different because we pulled up eighth graders as well. So we have a wide range of ages, ages on our team, but um, I feel like we found a lot of different ways to bond this year. And I feel like this year especially, we went on a couple trips and adventures as a team to uh, bond the team. And um, I'd honestly say that this is one of the most bonded teams that we've had, especially like in the high school. I think we are definitely one of the most bonded uh, squads. So um, we definitely go and uh, spend a lot of time. We get food a lot, team dinners, core core way to spend time together. Um, we also went to a BC PC hockey game early in the year, which definitely helped because we worked on a lot of bonding early on, which was definitely beneficial. That's great to hear. Sounds like you guys got it well figured out. Yeah. What's been your favorite bonding trip experience so far? What do you think? I liked the BC PC game. We did a team hike too. Oh yeah, that was good. Where'd you hike? Noon Hill. Noon Hill yeah. <laughs> Are you Classic. familiar? I am familiar. Nice. nice. <laughs> great spot. Oh yeah. One signature ability of your team this year has been kind of the skill to grind out some really gritty wins. Just digging deep and late in the game, the third period, and getting the job done regardless of circumstance. What do you attribute that grittiness to or that kind of do it no matter what the circumstances are? Uh, I think the locker room definitely is one of our biggest ways to get gritty, you know, and uh, especially for a game like today. Uh, we have KP on our hands, um, so uh, they're definitely our biggest rival this year. It's our third time actually facing this team. So I think uh, thinking back to the teams that we played before early on in the season and thinking about how that game went and the aggressiveness that we had um, definitely gives us motivation, especially if it didn't go our way. It definitely sparks a lot of motivation in the locker room, like I said. That's really great to hear. You guys have a favorite song to get you hyped up? Yeah, well, we actually do have a victory song. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Kung Fu fighting. But, uh, <laughs> I am very familiar with Kung Classic. Fu fighting. That's our victory <laughs> song. All right, so what is the main message you guys are trying to get across to your younger players who haven't had the chance to get a playoff experience yet? Uh, mostly just that playoff hockey is like the best time of your life. And um, you just got to work hard at it, but there's no better payoff than making the playoffs and the games are so fun. Yeah, and it's high stakes, but it's worth it. Yeah, there's honestly, I was saying this the other day, like there's no experience like it. Like I've been on a bunch of teams, different sports, different hockey teams and play, high school playoff hockey. It's just the best. There's nothing like it. There really is nothing like it. The intensity is just completely on another level. Yeah, everyone's focused up. Sounds really great. Oh, yeah. Going into the playoffs as the 18th seed, do you feel like there's a chip on your shoulder going in? I mean, like you have something to prove to other teams or people who rank you 18th? Or do you feel free of expectations? Do you guys feel like you're just going to go out there, you're going to make it happen, you don't feel pressure? Yeah, um, that's actually a really good question. I, While it may seem like we have a chip on our shoulder, I don't feel that way. Sophomore year, we were ranked, I believe, 21. Uh, some called it the Cinderella story. We made it all the way to the Final Four, lost in overtime, tough loss. But uh, I think that that's um, something that's kind of always in the back of my mind, the fact that, yes, we're 18, but genuinely anyone can be anyone. Playoff hockey, you never know. It's so unpredictable. Um, I think we have a we have a good chance of making a run. Yeah, everyone likes an underdog, I think. So that <laughs> helps that's us a great a point. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome to hear. So looking back on the season, what are you guys most proud of individually and then from a team perspective as well? It's also another great question. Um, I'd say individually, personally, 
I feel like going into everything, I always have the fact that it's our senior season in the back of my mind. It's always, um, it's like the last for everything, uh, for each individual moment. So um, I can confidently say like, I never really took anything this season for granted while yes, it flew by and it always does. But um, I'd say individually that's, that's pretty good. I'd say um, an, a good accomplishment was just like, as a captain, I feel like we bonded everyone pretty well. Um, at the end of the season, I can say we're a very close team. So um, that's individually. And I feel like additionally as a whole team, um, we've faced a lot of adversity this season. Um, we also have had a tough schedule compared to previous years. I feel like we've definitely grown and focused on what we can always improve on, brought it to practice, and always bring hard work depending on what we had recently faced. That's really great to hear, and that is definitely something you guys should be proud of. Um, sounds like a really great way to take out uh, your, your last season. Yeah. That's one thing I feel like people overlook too when they get the captaincy is it's not just about being the head of the team, being the best player on the team. It's really about the bonds you create with the players on your team. So the fact that you feel confident in your ability to have done that this year is really something special. Not everyone gets that opportunity and recognizes that ability. Lily, what about you individually what do you, and as a captain, what do you think? Um, individually, I'd say I'm proud of myself and all the other captains for what you were saying. Like, I think bringing up the eighth graders was a challenge for like the team dynamic because it was like unexpected and um, we didn't have them at our captains practices. But I think we really made a good effort to include them in everything and like get them talking. And um, that's been that's an individual accomplishment. And then. As a whole team, I think we've just improved so much over the season. And like I noticed it in our practices and our games, like I think we connect more and everyone just works so hard. And especially, like you said, the games where we're down by a lot and we never give up. So that's a team accomplishment. Great. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I, I really appreciate like people come in, they talk about their individual accomplishments, but both of you really have a team first mentality. And that partially, I think that's why you guys have gotten so far. One, the gritty games that we mentioned earlier is that team first, that all full unit idea and mentality has just propelled you guys to being a great team. So good luck in the playoffs. Thank you so much for joining us. But before you leave, it is time to play a game of Taboo Warrior Sports Talk Edition. The way Taboo Warrior Sports Talk Edition is going to work is we have some hockey related terminology on different sheets given to Catherine and Lily. Catherine will first go and she will be trying to get Lily to say a word without using certain descriptive words. So she's going to have to work around some challenges to get on the same wavelength as Lily. Catherine, you're going to go first. You have your word. Try to describe it. All right. This is something you put on a part of your body. And it, you, can't, you can't play hockey without it. Helmet? <laughs> no. Skates. Like, mm -hmm. OK. That's it? Mm -hmm. OK. We've got a timer running too, by the way, so. Oh, a uh, <laughs> person who uh, can almost ruin any game if they wanted to. Uh, Ref. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what you get to technically win the game. Uh, win. And you have to uh, have okay. a bunch of them. Goals. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, this is what is holding up around the area that you and your <laughs> uh, teammates skate on. They are the rink? Uh, they're around oh, the around boards. Ice. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, this is what you put on your head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Catherine can't say head. <laughs> so we're deducting a point from Catherine here. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Was that, you yeah. want to take a point away? All right. So we're taking a point away. All right, Lily, your turn. OK. Um, this is the player that um, is the last defense goalie. Yeah. Okay. Penny. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. This is a place that you don't want to be. Penalty box. Yep. Wow. <laughs> Fast. Um, this is just the essential thing to play hockey. Stick. You, yep. <laughs> um, Twig. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for rephrasing. Sure. Um, this is like the ground. That the ice. Yep. 
<laughs> and this is um how do I um this is what you use to play hockey and you use a stick your gloves to, like yeah. move this thing Oh, puck. Yeah. This game. There we go. All right, that's five for five. <laughs> that's five for five. I'm going to give the win to Lily just because Catherine used the word head on helmet. <laughs> so. you're, you're a good describer. I'll give but you But other than that, Lily and Catherine, thank you so much for playing. Thank you for coming in. And we hope you have the best of luck in the playoffs. We're all rooting for you. Thank you, thank guys, you guys so much. much. Of course. Thanks. <laughs> That'll be all for today. Thank you so much to Catherine and Lily for taking the time to talk. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on Warrior Sports Talk.